Hello, we are discussing about gate 1997 ECE paper and this question is related to analog circuits and it's a 5 marks question. Look at the circuit diagram given which is common emitter amplifier with emitter bypass capacitor CE as it is indicated. So we are going to calculate gain and input impedance at 10 kHz. If the capacitor that is emitter bypass capacitor CE is present and if it is removed. In those two cases we are going to calculate gain and input impedance. From that one we are going to see the effect of emitter bypass capacitance on gain as well as on input impedance. Okay. So the other parameters are given. The extra parameter what you can observe is nothing but apart from the regular ones that is RBB dash which is 100 ohms. RBB dash is nothing but resistance from base to internal base. Base to internal base resistance is on important only at high frequencies because at high frequencies capacitances exist from internal base to other terminals. That's why we are saying it as CB dash E and CB dash C internal capacitances. They will exist from internal base to collector, internal base to emitter. They don't exist from directly from base to emitter or base to collector. So only at high frequencies while taking the time constants that is product of effective resistance and effective capacitance internal base plays an important role. So there RBB dash is going to be important not at mid frequencies or not at low frequencies. Because RBB dash is not important at low frequencies and at mid frequencies since at both in both cases that is in low frequency and in mid frequency the internal capacitance doesn't exist they will act as open circuit here we are interested from only from base to emitter itself okay so generally it can be treated as r pi r pi is nothing but r b dash e plus r b b dash strictly speaking so Resistance from base to emitter is nothing but resistance from base to internal base plus resistance from internal base to emitter. So we are not going to calculate these two parameters separately. Directly we are calculating the R pi itself. So this R B B dash is not going to be useful this in this analysis. Okay. So first case we are going with calculating voltage gain and input resistance. <coughs> with CE. So first case with emitter bypass capacitor. So first of all we have to draw the AC equivalent circuit then we are going to calculate voltage gain and input impedance. The rules for calculating uh, drawing the AC analysis is first one DC voltage sources will be treated as grounded that is DC voltage are uh, at a short circuit. AC analysis is nothing but whenever you are applying a small signal at input side. Small signal is nothing but small variations in the input signal. That small variations doesn't make any variations in the DC voltage. So there is no variations in DC even though you are applying AC signal. So the variations in DC is going to be treated as zero. That's why we are going for the VCC is going to be treated as ground because there are no variations. This is one way of understanding. The second way of understanding is according to superposition theorem. If a network consisting of two or more sources at that time total response can be calculated by using individual responses. But whenever you are going for the individual response if you are considering one source at that time all other sources must be uh, neglected. If they are voltage sources, they will be act as short circuit. If they are current sources, they will be act as open circuit. That is what the neglecting criteria. So accordingly that one, since you are going for the AC analysis, we are considering VS. So we don't consider this other source. Other source is voltage, so it is acting as short circuit. And second rule is microfarad capacitors. That is CB, CC. CE act as short circuit. Okay, and third rule is <coughs> picofarad capacitors. 
that is c pi and c mu they will act as open circuit these are the rules to be considered because it is asking about the 10 kilohertz 10 kilohertz is nothing but it is in mid frequency range okay so it is indirectly asked that one you are going to calculate these things at mid frequencies by saying 10 kilohertz now we have to draw the ac equivalent model by making these three assumptions <coughs> So since it has not mentioned any H parameters, we are going to take R parameter model. So first this is a symbol of a transistor. Symbol of transistor should be replaced with the equivalent model for the analysis. That is to calculate exact currents and exact voltages across the terminals. So this is R parameter model equivalent. This is emitter okay, and it is collector, this is base and it is beta times of IB, IB is the current flowing through base terminal and this is R pi and if you are looking at the emitter side, emitter is connected with RE and CE but CE act as short circuit, short circuit is nothing but simply it is going to be connected with a wire, so this emitter terminal is directly connected through a wire and it is connected to the ground so directly emitter is grounded since capacitor is acting as short circuit short circuit is nothing but simply replacing with a wire that wire is connecting emitter towards ground okay now base terminal this is base base is connecting with rs that is connected to vs so this is what we can write it is rs and it is connecting with vs next collector this is collector and collector is connected to rc and vcc is grounded so collector rc is between collector and ground so rc between collector and ground this is v0 plus minus and it is v input v input is nothing but voltage from input to ground input is base terminal now we are going to calculate voltage gain AVS. AVS is nothing but V0 divided by Vs. V0 can be written as current flowing through this one multiplying with this resistor. Voltage across RC. So since the current is flowing in opposite direction, but V0 is indicated from plus minus. Plus minus is nothing but we assume current should flow in downward direction according to this polarity. Current always flows from more positive to less positive voltage but here actual current is flowing in opposite direction according to this potation notation so this i am indicating it as minus beta ib times of rc that is what i am writing minus beta ib times of rc divided by vs vs is nothing but voltage from source to ground so this is vs that is Vs is dropping across Rs and R pi. Since the same current is flowing that is what Ib. So Ib is the current flowing through Rs and R pi. They are in series. So you can write it as Ib times of Rs plus R pi as Vs. So Ib, Ib get cancels. You will get it as minus beta times of Rc divided by Rs plus R pi. And R pi. R pi is the resistance across base to emitter junction whenever you are looking into base. So this can be written as Vt divided by Ib. So Vt divided by you can write it as Ic by beta. And now you can write it as beta times of Vt divided by Ic. Beta is 100, Vt is 25 millivolts it has given and Ic is 1 milliampere. Milli milli get cam get cancelled 2500 you will get so this is equal to 2.5 kilo ohms now if you substitute AVS at that time AVS is minus 100 into RC is 2 kilo ohms divided by 2.5 is R pi RS is 1.4 kilo ohms okay so total it will be around minus 50 <coughs> 
minus 200 divided by 3.9 that will be around minus 50 slightly greater than that one this is first AVS voltage gain and in this one we are going to calculate ZI ZI is nothing but input impedance that is input voltage divided by input current input voltage is input to ground input to ground is nothing but base to ground since ground is at emitter so V input can be written as VBE VBE divided by I in is nothing but IB and VBE is equal to VBE is voltage across R pi because base and emitter so that can be written as IB times of R pi directly you can write V input is equal to IB into R pi ok you can write directly IB into R pi itself and but this analysis will be used in the next case IB into R pi divided by IB 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 get cancels you are going to get it as R pi that is 2.5 kilo ohms ok this is what voltage gain and input impedance <coughs> with CE now we are going to calculate without CE without CE without CE is nothing but this has removed removed is nothing but simply we can think this capacity is acting as open circuits removed is it is not there ok so now emitter is connected to RE now you have to draw the SA equivalent model by taking again three considerations VCC will be grounded microfarad capacitors act as short circuit picofarad capacitors act as open circuit ok so first I will draw the symbol equivalent model for the symbol transistor symbol and this is emitter this is collector and it is beta times of IB it is R pi current flowing through this one is IB this is base and now if you observe emitter emitter previously it was shorted to ground but since capacitor is not present emitter is connected with RE so emitter is connected with RE and the other end of RE is connected to ground next base is connected with RS it is connecting with VS next collector is connected with RC voltage across RC is nothing but V0 and V0 can be written as minus beta times of IB into RC ok this is RS V input now V input is nothing but from base to ground ok so this is the equivalent model for the common emitter amplifier with CE without CE so we are going to calculate voltage gain with source into effect V0 divided by Vs V0 divided by Vs V0 is nothing but minus beta times of IB into RC divided by Vs is voltage from this point to this point ok so this total voltage Vs is dropping across RS, R pi and RE so if you know the current flowing through RS and R pi that is IB but current flowing through RE is not IB it is current flowing through this one is IB plus beta times of IB these two currents are added up so current flowing through it is 1 plus beta times of IB IB plus beta IB if you take IB common you will get it as 1 plus beta times of IB into RE is the voltage drop across this RE so voltage drop across this RE plus voltage drop across this R pi plus voltage drop across this RS will be equal to Vs so I can write it as <coughs> IB into RS plus R pi plus 1 plus beta times of IB into RE so IB IB get cancels finally you are going to write it as beta into RC divided by ok RS plus R pi plus 1 plus beta times of RE so it will be <coughs> excuse me 
AVS it will be equal to okay around minus 14 point this will be equal to minus 14 point 2 so voltage gain is reduced previously it was minus 50 and now it is minus 14 point 2 now we will calculate the input impedance Z in is nothing but V input divided by IB I in so V input divided by IB I will write V input V input is voltage from base to ground that is voltage across voltage across R pi plus voltage across RE voltage across R pi and voltage across RE voltage across R pi is IB times of R pi plus voltage across RE is 1 plus beta times of IB into RE divided by IB so IB IB get cancels Z in is equal to R pi plus 1 plus beta times of RE you will get so R pi is 2.5 kilo ohms plus 1 plus beta is nothing but 101 RE <coughs> RE is 100 ohms 100 ohms so it will be equal to 2.5 plus 10,100 so it will be equal to 10.1 kilo ohms okay 10.1 kilo ohms total it is 12.6 kilo ohms so Z in so if you are going to check about AVS and ZI okay with CE and without CE with CE it is minus 50 and it is 2.5 kilo ohms and without CE it is minus 14.2 and it is 12.6 kilo ohms ok so without CE is nothing but using negative feedback with CE is nothing but no feedback no feedback with CE is with feedback that is you are using negative feedback whenever you are using negative feedback gain reduces and since it is voltage <coughs> series so this will be treated as it will be uh, input impedance with feedback is increases so these two you can observe ok so with feedback that is without CE gain reduces and <coughs> input impedance increases thank you